one girl can satisfy me. Me need more fuel for the lime green. Me let no one girl can deny me. Me no see me change shiny but why free. Me a controller, young soldier, once over. Any man at this, we I get slumped over. Don't be scared of the thing, girl, come close. You need to come over. Bad man, we no watch that. Even when me... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another video from me. So today I'm going to be using drugstore and affordable make makeup products. So, but the only thing I wasn't using that was drugstore or affordable is my Benefit Professional Primer. I promise you everything else in this video is from the drugstore or it's an affordable product that you can get in store or online. So I'm going to start off by using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in Deep Golden, I believe. Then I'm just going to blend that into my skin. Then I'm going to go back in with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. I'm going to use that with no products on it. I'm just going to use that and press that into my skin so that the foundation can sink into my skin better and give a flawless finish. Now I'm going to go with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. I'm going to use this in the areas that I normally highlight and I'm going to go back in with the, with the same real technique blending sponge that I used and I'm just going to blend that into my skin. So today, for extra highlight, I'm going to be using my Sleek um, Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. When I first used this um, palette, I didn't like it, but that's because I used it by itself. But today, when I used it on top of the Elega Pro Concealer, it worked, out, it worked out better than the first time that I used it. I was literally just about to put this in the bin. Then I was like, you know what, let me give it one more, one more try and see if it works. And it works. And yeah. So now to set that in place, I'm going to go in with my collection pressed powder in warm bronze, I think. I'm just going to press the powder in the areas that I highlighted. I've had this powder for a while, but I never used it for some reason. I don't know why, but it really does work. And it smells great. It smells like baby powder. So to further set my under eye and my highlighted areas, I'm going to go in with the collection Shearless Powder. This is in the shade Neutral, I believe. I'm just going to bake with that whilst I do my eye makeup. So to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Black Opal Deluxe Finish Powder in dark. And I'm going to use this to set the rest of my face. With this brush, I'm going to buff it into my skin just to give that flawless finish. Now I'm going to go with my bronzer. You guys know that I love, love, literally love this bronzer. I can't live without it anymore. So I'm just going to bronze up my face with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. You guys can get this online from Amazon, I believe. So moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using my APV palette. I really want to start using this palette a lot just to show you guys different looks that you guys can create with this look. So I'm going to start off using that orange shade and I'm just going to use that as my transition colour today and I'm just going to go back and forth with using a tapered blending brush then I'm going to go back into the same palette and I'm going to grab this brown and I'm going to place that right on top of the orange just to make the colours blend into each other better then I'm going to go back into the same palette again and I'm going to grab this brown and I'm going to place that on my crease because I've got hooded eyes so I just place it right on my crease now I'm just going to go back in and blend everything together so everything so everything looks like one, like one big happy family. So going back in the same palette, I'm going to grab this couple shade and I'm just going to place that right on my lid. And we're just going to go back in to blend everything together once again. Going back in the same palette, I'm going to grab this black and I'm going to place that on my outer corner. I was using this brush, then I realised I didn't like it. So I went back in with a with a dense brush and I just use that to blend everything together. Then I'm going back in with the brown, blend it together and then I'm going to go back in with the transition colours that I used, blend everything together. Do you get what I mean? You guys blended is key. So now I'm going to go with my gush highlighter and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone area and my inner corners. Just going back in again to blend. See, blending is key you guys. You guys need to blend like, you need to put in the work. You need to blend out your eyeshadow. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with my little color black black eye pencil and I'm going to use that to tight line my top lashes I know this looks scary you guys but trust me 
it's not as scary as you think. So now I'm gonna go with my Maybelline gel liner. You guys know that I used to love this gel liner so freaking much. I'm just gonna use that to create a wing. For my eyes, for the first time, I'm not gonna be using my black gel liner on my waterline. I'm gonna be using this pink nude shade on my waterline. The reason why I'm not using white is because white is too light for me. I'm a dark skin girl. I can't use white because it look like I have dust in my eye. So I'll just go with this pink shade and it looks more natural when I use this. Now I'm gonna go back in the same color and grab the two transition colors that I use and use that to smit my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go back in the same palette and grab the black and the brown and use that to smit on my lower lash line further. So I'm just gonna grab my mascara and I believe this is from, this is from Collection 2000. I'm not sure about the name of this um, mascara but I'll put it down below. Now I'm just gonna dust off all the excess powder off my face. And I'm gonna go back here with my old favorite um, very um, chisel chick contour kit in dark and I'm going to grab the dark shade and use that on the same brush that I used to contour with to um, contour my face. Like to, to set my face I'm going to be using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray which I love. Us, I'll put the name of this eyelashes down below. Now to highlight my face, I'm going to be using my Gosh Giant Highlighter and you guys, do you see the glow? Like, do you actually see that? I don't think you guys are seeing this. That is, like, this highlighting powder is so amazing. Like, I love it so much. Like, look at that glow. Look at it. So moving on to my lips, I'm going to start off by using my chestnut lip liner. I'm going to use that to outline my lip. This is my favourite lip liner because it's suitable for dark skin girls. Now I'm going to use this orange, this orange lipstick. Um, I've had it for quite a while. It's been in my house. The label's rubbed off. I don't know what name this is. I don't know what brand it is either. So you guys can use any nude colour that you have at home. Or if you have an orange, if you have an orange lipstick, you guys can use that as well. But it does come off as nude on me. Now I'm just going to clean my lips with my concealer this will be the end of the look you guys but however however i went back in with lip gloss i went back in with a clear lip gloss and i put that right over my lips then i'm just going to set my face again with my next setting spray and that's the end of the look you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys liked this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye you guys let her ride in the forest with me